Hello, my name's David McClelland, and I'm a tech journalist and a presenter. And I'm here today to help you out with some of your tech queries. So now I'm going to show you how to open your task manager. But first of all, what is your task manager and why would you want to open it? Well, on your computer, there are lots of processes running all at the same time. Some of them might be obvious, like your word processor or your email client, but other ones might be less obvious because they're running in the background. This might be something like your instant messaging client or um, maybe your printer driver. Now, sometimes your computer can start to run quite slowly uh, and it also might be that an application has crashed and becomes unresponsive and you need to close it down. What Task Manager lets you do is have a look at all of the processes that are running on your computer so you can see how many resources like memory and processor and even network that they may be using. And that gives you the opportunity to close any one of those processes down. So, let's have a look at how to do it. We're on Windows Vista here and what you can do is right click on the menu bar, task bar at the bottom and click on Task Manager. Now this is almost identical in Windows XP and also in Windows 7. So you can see here in the Processes tab that we have a whole list of different processes that are all running in the background. Some of them maybe you recognise, some of them you probably don't. You can also look at applications and here for example we see that we've got Google running, um, Google running an Internet Explorer. So if we wanted to close that application, what we could do is click on End Task. Other things that we can see is how your CPU utilization is looking and also how much memory the programs on your computer are using. And finally, it can be also quite useful to have a look at your network utilization to see if you've got any rogue processes running in the background. A word of warning here is that whilst this is all very interesting to look at and you can close down some processes that you might not want running, it can also be very dangerous and in a worst case it could mean that you need to reboot your computer to get it working again. So that's how to open a task manager.